King John's Castle about to be jumped on by Paul Carberry. I don't know whether he's going to go with the others, though, who are edging towards the tapes. And they're off and racing, and King John's Castle has refused to leave the starting area, so a casualty before the race has really begun. Irish Raptor Black Appalachia amongst those that uh, show up on the run towards the first state of play in Bally Holland going up the inside. Hello Buds towards the centre of the race course. Snowy Morning is also racing handily as they make their way down towards the first. Eric's Charm is another one who's very handy in company with Vic Venturi. Beat the boys as they prepare to leave the ground at the first. In which Eric's Charm goes at the first. Uh, several casualties in behind as well. Vic Venturi was uh, quite badly hampered, but as a melee clears, uh, Eric's Charm appears to be in the only faller. Hello Bud is prominent as they go towards the second and probably lifted off just ahead. All the leaders over safely. We've lost Pablo to Charmille at the second, however. Hello, Bud goes to the big ditch. And Black Appalachian, Bally Holland and Priest Leap and Snowy Morning and Irish Raptor. Beat the boys is close up. Leaders are over it safely, watching the stragglers get over it. Bally Fitz and Nozick and Flintoff are towards the rear with Ellerslie, George and Royal Rosa and Made in Taipan. Connor Castle, meanwhile, in the noseband, takes a prominent position as they jump the fourth and led there from Hello, Bud and Black Appalachian. I think we lost my will further back in the field there at the fourth fence. Looks as though he's gone. Connor Castle leads as they go down towards the fence before Beaches from Black Appalachie and Hello Bud. Connor Castle out in front of Black Appalachie over in second place. Niche Market made a mistake and there's one gone at the back of the field. Made in Taipan is down at fence number five as they go now towards Beaches Brook and it's Connor Castle who leads Black Appalachie and then Hello Bud followed by Snowy Morning and Dream Alliance. They take Beaches. Connor Castle out in front of Black Appalachie over in second. All the leaders jump it well. There was a peck by State of Play on the inside, but he survived. Flintoff is the back marker. Nozich is last but one as Connor Castle takes them towards Foynaven. Is clear by four lengths to Black Appalachia. Hello, Bud. And then Bally Holland on the inside. Dream Alliance, Irish Raptor, Snowy Morning, Pre Sleep. And then Big Fella Thanks and Joe Lively. Comply or Die is next. Followed then by State of Play towards the inside. And then backstage as they cut the corner now at the canal. And over it, but going wide, was Connor Castle to Black Appalachia in second. Hello, Bud was over in third. Over in fourth came Bally Holland. All the leaders again are safely over, but down at the back of the field as can't buy time. He has gone at the canal. They take Valentine. Where once again, Connor Castle was in front from Black Appalachie, followed over by Hello Bud, Bally Holland in the very pale jacket. Dream Alliance with a flashy white face is just in behind them as they go to the fence after Valentine's. Connor Castle over safely from Black Appalachie and Hello Bud, a nod on landing from Dream Alliance. Towards the rear, the package, a bad mistake in rear from Nozick. Flintoff is in danger of tailing off. Cloudy Lane is well back with Royal Rosa, Ellerslie, George and Bally Fitz as Connor Castle leads them out over the ditch from Black Appalachie. Then a small break to Hello Bud, Bally Holland and then Irish Raptor followed by Big Fella Thanks and Joe Lively as they make their way towards the final fence on this section of the course. Connor Castle over safely, Black Appalachie hit it as did Bally Holland. Very bad mistake by Beat the Boys but he kept his feet almost came to a halt. Uh, they head across the Melling Road led by Connor Castle from Black Appalachie and Hello Bud and Bally Holland. Then Big Fella Thanks comply or die with the green sleeves towards the outside is prominent with Snowy Morning in the yellow jacket. Pre-Sleep is racing just in behind these with Irish Raptor and Joe Lively and then backstage Maljamar and Orange Jacket is in midfield Serium is towards the inside also midfield at this stage for Niche Market Dream Alliance has lost one or two positions uh, then beat the boys uh, character building and Nina Carberry at this stage pretty well back Flintoff is struggling to keep up with them the package and Ollie McGurn remain towards the rear of the field with Bally Fitz as they prepare to rise at the next there's as many as 34 or 35 still standing here as uh, in front Connor Castle runs down the first of the fences that lead them towards the chair. A massive number, as you can see, still on their feet, even though Flintoff is tailed off. Nozick is towards the rear. The package has been hard at work, received reminders as many as three fences ago as Connor Castle leads them to the fence in a circuit's time will be the last from Black Appalachia. Hello, bud. And we lose there. Irish Raptor. Irish Raptor is a faller and Royal Rosa unseats back in the field when well behind as they head towards the chair. It's Connor Castle who will lead them from Black Appalachie, then Hello Bud. Uh, Bally Holland comes next. Big Fellow Thanks and Snowy Morning are racing in about fifth or sixth place as the leaders are at the chair. Uh, watching them over it, a bad mistake there. Arbor Supreme is the one that's gone at the chair. Arbor Supreme is the faller. So towards the water jump, Black Appalachie and Connor Castle. Black Appalachie in front. Hello Bud third. Bally Holland fourth. Big Fellow Thanks from on the wide outside. Comply or die, Snowy Morning. Can't buy times. Well placed just behind the leaders. Or should say don't push it is well placed just behind 
behind the leaders on the outside of State of Play. Then Mal Jamar on the outer uh, towards the inside, racing in about 10th uh, or 11th. He's backstage from Niche Market, Madison du Berlay. Serium comes next with Pre Sleep Joe Lively. Vic Venturi ahead of the Grey Perea as the leaders cross the Melling Road. Amongst those towards the rear of the field, the package Tricky Tricksters quite well back at this stage. Palypso de Creek, also character building Nozick towards the rear. Dream Alliance has lost a lot of ground. Bally Fitz is towards the tail. Tailing off is Beat the Boys and Flint off as they head out towards the first down the side. And over the 17th, it was still Connor Castle in front from Black Appalachia. The leaders have cleared it safely. Mon Mom's creeped a little closer now into uh, midfield. Uh, Beat the Boys is completely tailed off, struggling as the leaders go to the next, the 18th. Connor Castle from Black Appalachia. Break to Hello Budden, then Bally Holland and Big Fella Thanks. And Mal Jamal, the orange jacket, is sneaking closer, then comply or die. Madison du Berlin, don't push it and backstage as they take the ditch. Connor Castle over in front from Black Appalachian. Hello, Budden, Bally, Holland, a big fella, thanks, and Maljamar. Madison du Berle is unseated. The package is unseated as well. Cloudy Lane was badly hampered in rear. Uh, Flintoff has just about got over it. Beat the boys, meanwhile, has been pulled up. Connor Castle safely out over the next from Black Appalachian as they continue their progress down uh, towards Beaches. Backstage has gone. There were two or three others who went there. Nozick was another one who went. But it's Black Appalachian and Connor Castle who go to the fence before Beaches. Clear. And Vic Venturi has also come down at that melee at the previous fence as they go now towards Beaches Brook and back Black Appalachia has now come to take the lead over Connor Castle in second and these two have gone clear of in third position. Big fella thanks they come towards Beaches. Black Appalachia and Connor Castle pecks on landing. Hello Bud on the inside was over in third. Maljimar back in the field was the faller at Beaches Brook. Maljimar is down. Bally Fitz has also fallen at Beaches Brook as they go towards Foynaven. Black Appalachia, Connor Castle and Mistake. Hello Bud and then these have been followed by Big Fella Thanks and then Tony McCoy getting closer on Don't Push It. Then there's a break back to Bally Holland followed by State of Play, Comply or Die and then Sirium followed then by Mon Moan and Snowy Morning, Joe Lively and then Tricky Trickster as they go over the canal turn and it's Black Appalachie who's out in front by three lengths now from Hello Bud and Big Fella Thanks they go towards Valentine's. We've lost Ellerslie George out the back of the field. Black Appalachie in front over Valentine's from Hello Bud and Big Fella Thanks Don't Push It White Cap up into fourth. Connor Castle beginning to drop off them. Then a break to state of play. Mon Moan receiving reminders. Seri and Bally Holland are next and then comply or die in snowy morning as they take the fence after Valentine's where uh, Don't Push It made quite a bad mistake there. And Mon Moan has gone. Mon Moan is a faller down on the inside when back in about eighth position. Black Appalachie goes towards the next just ahead from Hello Bud and Big Fella Thanks the Purple Jacket down the inner. Don't Push It is next. They're clear from state of play comply or die. Connor Castle then snowy morning as they make their way on towards the next. Palypso de Creek out the back has gone and Black Appalachie got too close to that one, was joined by Hello Bud and Don't Push It. Then Big Fella thanks the state of play, comply or die. Snowy morning, tricky tricks are in the pink jacket, is being pushed along. Further back then to the likes of uh, Character Building and Joe Lively and then Connor Castle and Serium and a long break to Cloudy Lane as they head back towards the race course proper, having gone over the Melling Road. Niche Market is tailed off, looks like pulling up. Priest Leap is tailed off, so too is Ollie McGurn in Perea. And it's Black Appalachie who leads the national field from Hello Bud, but don't push it. An AP stalking in behind with Barry Geraghty and Big Fella Thanks. And this group of four are clear with two to jump. So two fences left to take in the national Black Appalachie. Hello Bud, Big Fella Thanks and out towards the outside. Tony McCoy on Don't Push It as they approach the second last. Don't Push It and Hello Bud uh, joined by Big Fella Thanks and Black Appalachie towards the inside. Black Appalachie not lying down, but Tony McCoy senses his national weight may be about to end as Don't Push It looms alongside and leads the last at the National. On the inside, Black Appalachie. Big Fellow Thanks in third. Hello Bud, character building running on. May grab a place with Snowy Morning, but off up the run in. It's Don't Push It for Tony McCoy. Black Appalachie fighting back grimly on the inside. Don't Push It in front. Ears pricked idling. Black Appalachie trying to preserve the run up the inside. But Tony McCoy, the winning most national hunt rider of all time, has waited a long time to land his first John Smith's Grand National, first all round, Tony McKay, JP McManus, John Joe O'Neill, don't push it, won the National, Black Avalanche second, state of play, placed again in third, big fella thanks, hello bud, snowy morning, character building, cloudy lane, tricky tricks to Joe Lively, comply or die, Serium, the stragglers back may include Perea, uh, also pre-sleep may well come home, uh, a couple pulled up I think, uh, behind these were a niche market and Connor Castle, Ollie McGurn, is also going to finish. The National of 2010 is won by Tony McCoy.
McCoy and don't push it.